Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to slide and slide under objects. So this character here will be able to slide along the floor and can slide under this object here. And in the previous video I showed you how to vault over and through items like these and climb up on top. So I'll show you what we did there and then we'll get into it. So I've also hit P so we can then change characters. So it's going to just vault through this window, vault up and straight over this and then up onto this. So that's what we did last time and now I'll show you how we can do the sliding mechanic. So let's get straight into it. So what we're going to want to do first is import our sliding animation which I have configured a little bit so that it works perfectly so I'll leave a download link to that one in the description below. And so what we're going to do is just simply drag and drop it in and I'm going to put it in this folder here. So we're going to take off import mesh and then put it on our skeleton which we have so mine is this Y bot here and then we'll just import animation exported time and then hit import all and as you can see that imported it already very quickly so then what we want to do is just open this up straight away and as you can see we have the animation but it doesn't stay in one place it moves forward which is what we don't want because then it will glitch back and forward when we use it so up in the top left up here in the asset details if we just search for root motion there it is and then if we just tick force root lock there and as the root motion root lock there, if we choose anim first frame, you can see that this now stays in the same place. And so like I say, I've already configured this so that it does that perfectly. I've added a better a new root bone. So if you're not using this animation and you have an issue which doesn't look good, you'll need to make a new root new root bone. So this is now done, so we can save and close this. And then we'll just right click on it, hit create up at the top here, and then create anim montage. And we just hit enter on that. It doesn't matter what it's called, but running slide montage works well. So now our next step is to go into our uh, into our animation blueprint. So I'll just open mine up there, like so. And then in the anim graph here, where we have the state machine and stuff, we're just going to drag the state machine back, and then drag off of the state machine. And we're going to get a slot default slot like that. And again, just plug that into the result, and that's that part now done. So we can again compile, save, and close that. And then you want to open your character. So obviously, third person character first person whatever you've called it so I've called mine sliding character so just open that up and then find some empty space and then what we're going to do is get our action mapping so we can just make that now so we minimize that again and then go to edit and then project settings and if we go down here down to input open action mappings hit the plus and then I'm going to call this one sliding and I think I'm going to set it to one on the keyboard and then I think also control so you, again you can set these to whatever you want and you can set it to multiple ones like I have here but it doesn't matter too much this is just what you're going to use so if we then close that and then open up our character again and then in the space we found we just right click and search for what we made so I called it sliding so we get that and then off the pressed we're going to do everything so we'll get our we'll drag our character movement in from the top left up here just drag and drop to get a reference drag off of that and we're going to set movement mode like that and plug that into pressed and what we're going to do is we're going to set this to flying like this and then we're going to get a reference to our capsule component so drag and drop that in drag off of this and we're going to set collision enabled and leave it as no collision I'll just tidy this up a bit like so and then what we're going to do is come off of the collision, set collision enabled and we're going to get a play anim montage right up at the top there. Play anim montage. And there's the target. We're just going to drag off and get player character like that. And as the anim montage, we're going to use one we've just made. So mine is running slide montage. Now you might not have any others, but these are from the previous tutorial I did on vaulting. So then out of the return value for this, what we're going to do is just get a delay. And this basically just waits until the animation is finished playing to then do the next parts we want. So now if we've completed, we're just going to set the collision enabled and movement mode node back to normal. So what we can do is just copy and paste these. So we can just select these, copy and paste them down here. And then what we're going to do is just put this set collision enabled first in front of this. It doesn't really matter too much. I just prefer it like this because I want the collision enabled that split second before. So just plug all these back in like that. And what we're going to do is set collision enabled back to collision enabled query and physics and then set movement mode back to walking like that and this should now be this part done and all of it done so what I'm going to do is just 
select this, hit C to write comment, and just call this sliding, like that. Done. So if we then hit compile and save, and if we close this and hit play to test it, we see that if we press 1, it slides, or control, it slides because they're the two I set. Obviously, it's perfect for you. And if we go down and press a number or whatever it is, we can slide under this object. So as you can see, we obviously can't walk under it, but we can slide under it. So this works out perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video. Done everything I wanted to do. I've got it all set up perfectly. We've got a character which can slide and it can slide under objects and not get stuck on collision or anything. And this all works out perfectly fine. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.